Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. What's, what's another header? Another header is going to be 100,000 above that. We ought to be able to take our loan up to 3 million. It's a percentage of the farm, right? We, we, we have a, a, a loan is set at a percent, total percentage of the farm. Now, I've gone up to 3 million, so we're 767,000 available. I can go and get a combine. That's not going to be a problem now. I'm, I'm able to go and buy one of those. So we'll, we'll do that. And we'll run the two combines being exactly the same. Because I think that's going to be a little bit easier if we can run two the same. I'm not going to try anything complicated like two combines in the same field. Except I'm going to have to when we're running the big ones. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I might just stick with standard hired help or... Um, uh, the vehicle standard hired help and the um, advanced AI. The, the 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 vehicle, yeah, what's it called? I can't, I can't even remember what it's called now. You know the one I mean, the, the advanced vehicle AI thing. Um, I wanted Michelin for this. And we go wide tiles on there, no GPS, so we'll run with that and buy. Yes. There is another combine. I have two combines now. Let's come out of you. And we go into there. And we go to headers. And we will scroll up through here and we'll pick up the Convio right there. That is the bad boy that I want. I want to buy you. Yes. Now, in theory, I should put that one onto a trailer. Not going to. I'm going to see if I can bring that one back here without using a trailer. So I'm going to go... You're going to just stop there for a minute. You're on 54% in canola up there on the Combine. Which means that this one's going to think about starting up pretty soon. Go up there. Right. There we go. Take that one. Am I going to... I should just be able to drive across the crops to get out of here. I'm not too worried about um, putting it onto a header. We'll we'll deal with that a little bit later. So I, I do have potential for making a very substantial field here. Now we've got our own land that I could use to make a very substantial field. And that could look pretty good, but I'm kind of thinking that it would be better if I could um, buy a bit more land. I don't know if I want to buy all of that, though. This, this is going to end up just being something that's going to be really tedious and dull, I fear. I don't really want to do that, but that is go big or go home, isn't it? That's, that is kind of like the whole point of the series, is to do the biggest stuff that we possibly can... And there's no denying that that would be pretty big, right? That is pretty big scale for everything that we could do on there. Let's go to you, and then I will switch up to this one. You're on 73% now. What have I got? Stop during unload. Deactivate that. That lorry is going to be on its way now. Isn't it? Combined pipe is in fruit. Right, why is it not... Oh, wait a minute. Because I've got that deactivated, if I have it activated now, the truck will come over to me, won't it? Or does it wait until it's completely full? <laughs> I'm confused! Oh, it might have... It may have... Count no, I don't think it's clever enough to calculate that it's able to get right up to here before it um, needs to worry about it. But anyway, that one's going to come over to there, and the spout is going to do that. Then he's going to turn round. I got standard wheels on this one. I didn't go for the wide tyres on this one like I have with the other new one. We're going to bring that... That's going to spin on round like that, back into the crop. So now that truck is going to come up alongside us. And it's going to start unloading. Why? Why on earth would you drive straight towards it like that? Seriously? I... <laughs> what is wrong with you? I said stop. Why, why aren't you stopped? Driver. I said stop, driver. 
Okay, it didn't. It, it, it doesn't even want me. Oh, it's big. Stop, driver. Oh, I was on the. I was on the Phoenix truck. That's why. No. Right now, I'm now. Now I'm just really confused. Uh, combine is telling me to stop, driver. There. You are stop driver at the moment. Oops. There. Now go to you. Start driver. Okay, I've stopped driver. Rid of that. But that's not actually... It's... it's Okay, it's now broken. It's now broken completely. Start driver, stop driver no longer works. It's just now taken over and it's, it's just going to do whatever it wants. We've, we've reached the point where um, Skynet is about to take full control and we're in serious trouble. Skynet is literally about to take control of our truck over here. Can I swing you round? We know the physics are usually pretty good for self-writing. And there we go. Right. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty good. But Skynet is not cooperating with us very well today. Let's go to you and then drive course. Now, stop driver, drive now. Combine is telling me to stop. Why is the Combine telling you to stop? Skynet is confused. Send driver home. Start driver. Oh, wait. That's why. Start dri... That's why. I was on the wrong page. Okay, so it wasn't all Skynet's fault. It was partly my fault because I was inputting the wrong commands to Skynet. Well, that does make a lot of sense. Uh, where are you going? What's he doing? Oh. <laughs> I'm d <laughs> this makes me want to cry. This really does make me want to cry. At least I am able to stop a driver here. Like, if I go to that one, I can stop a driver and tell him to... Wait. Stop during unloading is currently activated. So we can leave that one go. I'm going to deactivate that one now. So that will start going on there. So now they're both running. And we can just keep going. We're getting this crop going at least. Running along the fields. It's going to work out. It's going to work out beautifully. So get into the comments section and tell me what you think. Although, by this point, it's going to be a little bit late. I'll have already gathered up your comments, and we will be deciding what we're going to do with this farm. How much we're going to try and plough up, how much we're not going to plough up. We've got to remember that over there, we've got drainage ditches in the field, like we had in the field over there. And that's going to slow things down a little bit. We're going to have to blend that out. And there's a lot of work that we're going to need to do with the plough. Uh, well, first, we've got to go around and deal with the trees, but that's that's not going to take all that long. It's the ploughing that's going to take the real time. I think we can do it all right. I think we will be all right with doing this. It's just going to take a little bit of serious heavy-duty landscaping to be able to make a really, really huge field. Um, And I'm curious quite how I'm going to do it. We'll worry about that in a bit. We need to get the other combine over next, and we'll start that one working on that field. This one's still got a fair bit to go on this field, so it's probably going to get all confused still. And then I've got to figure out a way to empty that. We have got another trailer, so we might better... No, we haven't got the right trailer, have we? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this. It's going to take a while. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have... Uh, I was going to say one truck running between them, but obviously we can't really do that with the trailers. So I'll probably get the Lexian over there. Not the Lexian. The, uh, probably get the class tractor, the Zerian, 
over there, and we'll see about using that one and maybe one of the other trailers. We could always actually, I'll tell you what, we could use the three trailers that we got for feeding the pigs just to take this one off here. Uh, not really 100% sure at the moment, though. I, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure what we're going to do about that one. So I'm going to bring the combine over here like this, and then we're going to go into field work like this. We're going to go... Now, actually, do I have... I don't think I've got a core set up for this field, have I? I don't have anything at all. And... Well, not, the, not that I know of. Anyway, we've got... Four, six, uh, this is field seven here, isn't it? Uh, lime, slurry. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got one set up for this field, so we're going to have to start a new one. Now, we don't need to start anything recording. So all i got to do is field work on here. This is the only one that we can do. We want to go to course generation in here. And it is field 7 that we're in over here. So we will go 9, 8, 7 like that. Because that's field 8 over there. And this new one up here is the field 9. And start from current vehicle position. Start direction automatic. We will do three headland passes. We will do turn on the corners. And we've got a 12.6 meter working width. So we will generate that field course right there for that one. Excellent. That's looking pretty good. And so we can come out of there. Now we'll go here. We can drive priority. I'm not going to do anything about that. But what I will do is I'll go to advanced settings, uh, lower, early, lift, late. Okay. And then I will go back into here. No, this one. Let's just remove that a second. So that's where the course starts, is just over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over to here like this. I'm then going to go like that, and I'm going to save this one. This is Field 7 Combine. Save like that, and we're going to start at the first waypoint, and then I'm going to drive course. Just going to start like that. The combine will move in and it's going to start straight away. It's chopping the straw at the moment, which we don't want. So we're going to go there and stop driver a second. And then I'm going to back up and I'm going to switch that over. And then I'm going to current waypoint next closest drive course so that you carry on from this point. And you should now be leaving the straw on the ground in a great big heap behind you. And what that means is that we'll be able to use the Zerian with the collection over there. And we can gather all of that up a bit later on. We're not going to do that just yet. We'll worry about getting this other one going. Now, the other combine over here is actually just about ready. That one is 95% now. So I'm going to go over to you over here, and you should actually run alongside that combine now. No, you're not going to do that. Okay, stop driver. And we will take the cover off like that. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to clear that, and we're going to manually unload. We'll have the course play running the combine, and then we can just do manual unloading. I think it's going to be easier. Now, do I have the combine set for... Yes, he is set for traveling while he unloads. That's absolutely fine. If we do it like this, we should be able to keep both the combines running without too much trouble. And then once we go round and we do our huge great big field that we're going to do all the way round the outside of the area then uh, we will be able to get a whole lot more material um, because uh, a whole lot more going into the trailers because we're going to have the same trailers right the way across. We're going um, uh, same. It's going to be same crop. So we can have two combines. We might have three combines. But because we've only got one crop going through, it is going to make life an awful lot easier for gathering everything in. 
Um, I have had a little bit of feedback about my plan because I did originally say that I was... Oh, the Combine's actually gone round the island without me realising he was going to go off and do the stuff around the island. Realise he'd gone and done that. He's actually now unloaded completely. I've got 75,000 on here, 84%. So he could go back and empty out. There is a tractor in the way at the moment and then we've got the other one is at 63 percent at the moment so we're going to want to do something with that one um yeah i'll leave that tractor where he is for a second and i'm wondering if we should get another truck no i don't think we will i don't think we will we'll stick with this little idea that i've got of um moving some of the other stuff we've got the chickens in there so as we move towards the conclusion of this series, we're just going to do all of the harvest and then we're going to make a great big field and we're going to um, sort of finish all of that up. Do you still want me to try and do two full pens of cattle or should we not? Oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to do that. Uh, should we try and do two full pens of cattle or should we just sort of leave the cattle as they are? We, we, we've kind of done a taster of doing the cattle on a large scale and... I will, I do actually plan with the next series, like the whole thing that I do with, um, what well, I used to do with my really big scale gameplay that I did, which is, we will be doing on a Hagenstedt map, um, I did lots of cattle on there, right, lots of cattle was one of the big things that I like to do, cattle and sheep. And there weren't pigs on that map so uh, originally, so I don't actually have any plans to put pigs into it. I'm, I'm not planning at present to put pigs into my playthrough. I may end up doing that if that's what people want, but I probably won't. So I don't think we need to concern ourselves too much with really pushing the numbers of cattle that we've got right here. I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference because we've seen some of the large scale and I want to get more large scale stuff. Now, admittedly, I did used to do it all with bales and I don't want to be doing too much with bales this time round. Now, the next thing that we're going to be doing, I'll change him over in a bit, I think. I'm not going to change him over just yet, but I will have him so that he's... Uh, unloading while he's traveling around the field but I'll just get this one unloaded first Lexi and number two needs to be unloaded so the number one with the canola in it he's doing just fine I can stop here until he's finished completely emptying out his load there and then there we go a little bit more right he's now ready to roll so if I bring the can't the, the combine, if I bring the lorry and truck up here out of the way, that combine is going to swing around like that and get himself back up onto the right track and he's away again. So then I can quickly skip through to you right here. And then what I want to do is I want to go here. Stop during unloading is deactivated. Right, that's good. That's actually good. So once he gets onto the inside round, he will just keep going while we unload this one of all of the grain. And this one's going to, like, we'll unload this one probably twice before we need to go and get anything from that one up there. That one's only on 35% now. So we, we won't have any issues with that one. Let's go up to it. Let's go and have a look here. 35% and we've not got a huge chunk of this field left. Right, we've worked our way through a big slice of this field. So, while those two are busy doing a little bit more, we're going to ignore them for the most part. We're going to go over to this tractor here. We can start you up. We're going to undo that spout like that. And we're going to unfold that one like that. And we're going to go and start removing a few trees so that we can make our huge great big field for the final crop that we want to do. So I will keep going with the animals. We will keep feeding the animals through the next winter that we have. But it's a much, much lower priority from this point in. What we want to do is we want to clear the stumps. Make sure that everything has been removed like that. And that is 
the only thing we want to do so that we've got our huge great big field potentially all set up i'm also going to get rid of the island over there we'll plow that one up and get rid of that one and that's going to be fairly simple for us to run through as well let's bring you on round here um and that way we shouldn't have any unnecessary complications oh i don't have access to that land yet I haven't bought that field uh let's go in here and have a look then so that's that bit down there isn't it that's these bits down here i'll have to do some landscaping on that one there this was one that i was gonna buy and then i was gonna buy that bit that bit there that and i think it was this up here as well wasn't it so i need 328,000. 178, 257, 227 there, these 100,000 each, that one right there, and then that little bit right there. So, uh, yeah, we got 190 grand right now. We don't have enough to go and buy very much, but we might... No, I've got $3 million, I can't borrow anything else right now. That is everything that I can borrow right now. I'm, I am absolutely maxed out on the loan. So the only way that we're going to do this is by selling some crops, things like that. Or possibly uh, selling some of the machinery. I mean, we could sell some of the machinery because technically we're not going to need to plant until spring. Although I wanted to get going with the plowing before then because there's quite a lot of plowing that we're going to need to do in order to be able to make this work. Uh, but I tell you what, we don't actually need to worry about that, do we? I will go to you. We'll run round to that combine because he's just about full. I'll go this way. And, wait, it's 95%. He can keep going. He can keep going longer than that. He doesn't need to be stopped at 95%. Why is he stopping at 95? Okay, I don't actually know why he's stopping at 95 but he is and uh, that's, that's the, the way it is uh yeah so we've got a little bit of road right here that will get in the way of being able to do a mega field which is a bit of a pain so maybe we won't do a bit right down in that corner there i'm i'm not quite sure yet but everywhere that is marked green on the map that's the sort of bits that we've got to look out for now we swing in round like this he should start unloading us and also start traveling around the field at the same time. Yes, excellent. Okay, he's going to keep going on around the field. The canola is now at 70%, which means that what we'll need to do is unload this one here, take it back to the yard and tip it out, and then get straight up to the canola field and empty that out. Or, of course, I could just get the tractor and the three trailers that we got parked up back in the yard. Use those to unload the other combines so that this truck can stay parked up in this field and keep offloading this load right here. When we're doing the great big load, uh, the great big field, kind of thinking that we would want a bigger trailer than this. I'm actually thinking the Wilson pace setters, but the like it, we got like a, a B train configuration type one that's a Stevie mod. That one, I think, would work quite well. That seems to be about right. You know, it's, it's got extension, so we're still sort of going with the general theme of this playthrough, which is, yes, we do want to have very large scale, but we're not going excessively unrealistic. That's kind of what we're aiming for for this one, is very large scale. There are some things that we've got, like, uh, extra bits on, but we're not... We're not sort of pushing the excessive unrealism for volumes of trailers and stuff. That's going... Th there will be more of that in the next one. The, the, the next playthrough is definitely going to be having more of that. I'll be having trailers that have like half million quantity. Um, I won't... Well, I, I might not change the weight values in the trailers. I'm not quite sure about that. I'll see how that works out for me. Um, but generally what I did was... I adjusted the all of the settings. I adjusted trailers. I adjusted everything that I can. You know, I'm going to go. In, I was thinking I'll go round the silo, but I won't. Um, 
I adjusted everything so that I could just keep the harvests and everything moving. So when I was doing, I did a sugar beet harvest across the entire map at one point. And I didn't like the speed that the sugar beet harvesters were harvesting. So I didn't alter the widths because I didn't actually know how to do that at the time. So we didn't alter the widths of the harvesters. I think I did manage to find a mod that gave them wider cutter bars, uh, which was absolutely brilliant. Um, so I did make them slightly wider, but I did manage to figure out how to alter the speed of the harvester successfully. So I altered that, and I also altered the onboard tank for the sugar beet harvester that I was using, so that it can it could take uh, something like 10 times the quantity that it was taking at the time. And that meant then that I could have three harvesters working the fields and they were harvesting at a reasonable rate. And then the trailer that I had that was able to hold 1 million liters of sugar beet was able to keep up with them as well. And I had great fun and I harvested the entire map all on my lonesome. And this is what I did. I would work the whole map. But I started from the small scale and I worked my way up from there. So we will be doing... Um, it's, it's basically just reliving my glory days for back when I was playing FS13. And I'm going to do everything like that. So it, it is going to be unrealistic because I didn't think it mattered. Why would I need to sit there and make my own harvest take about three weeks to do with a sugar beet harvest when there wasn't actually any benefit to that? Having large quantity tanks and very large quantity trailers didn't alter the fact that I was still doing the sugar beet harvest. I still had to get the sugar beet back to the yard, still get it into the sugar beet storage facility, and still then had to move it from there and get it sold. Little things like that, um, that was kind of the important thing to me. And that's, that's the bit that I enjoyed and, and the bit that I kept going. And, and that's what I did with that, with the, um, with the map. And this is what I want to show you, because I've had a lot of people asking me about how I used to do it, because I have talked about it a little bit. So I've had a few questions coming in about how uh, things used to work, and uh, what did I do with this, and what did I do with that. And so I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to play through that map right from... We'll start from the beginning. It'll be on the easiest settings. We get plenty of money coming in. That's, that's very important. Um, I'm not going to be bogged down with worrying about uh, where the money is coming from and um, there won't be any forestry i'm not planning to do any forestry other than uh like on this map just removing a few troublesome trees that i don't want in the way that wasn't an option in fs13 and it used to really 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 irritate me far more than it probably should have done um I hated it. I really, really hated it. You couldn't get rid of the trees. So there were some trees scattered around the map that used to really bug me. However, they didn't have, like this map here, this map's got trees on every corner. They didn't have that in FS13. There weren't masses and masses of trees stuck on every corner like we've got here. And that at least did make it a lot more bearable. It, it was a lot more fun. Um, it was a lot more playable because you didn't have all of these trees everywhere so i was able to do most of what i wanted to do with joining the fields together there were a few and i know most of you are already familiar with the particular trees right at the beginning around those first couple of fields there were some trees there and i know anybody that played fs13 knows exactly the trees that i mean and knows just how annoying it was that those trees could never be removed that was probably the single biggest frustration about that map, was those trees right there could never be removed. It was awful. What I also had... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.